Hey folks, welcome to Play Branson, the show where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. I'm your host, Chris Meyer, and today's episode is brought to you by iBranson.com. That's the place where you can find the latest Branson show information and attraction information too. So be sure to check out iBranson.com. Today our guest is Dino Phillips with The Hay Goods. He's actually in some other shows as well. And um, we hope you enjoy the conversation we have with him. He is one of the premier drummers in Branson. Now, every once in a while we like to give you a little tip on things that will help make your Branson vacation better. And so the question is, is have you seen the new Flavor of Branson publication? Now, if you're in town and you want to know more about Branson's restaurants, then you need to get the Flavor of Branson dining guide. It lists over 300 restaurants in Branson and it also has numerous coupons. Now, every once in a while, I'm like, where should we go eat? And you just can't think of anything, right? Well, here it's broken out by category. It lists all American, all barbecue, pizza, uh, Southwest, steakhouses, the whole bit. And so every restaurant in the area literally is in here. So you're gonna wanna check that out. Uh, and it'll help you save money if you use some of the coupons. Well, we'll be back in just a second with Dino Phillips. Hang tight. Folks, welcome to Play Branson. On today's show, I have Dino Phillips, drummer extraordinaire for a bunch of shows in town. Um, we'll talk about those shows a little bit later, sure. but man, you have an incredible history in the music industry. You've been on the show, but it's been a long time since you've been on here. It's been quite a yeah, while. Yeah, it's been a while. So um, why don't you tell people about your background and how you got into this business? Well. Actually, I started um, when I was in high school, started um, learning how to play drums, even though I had been playing since I was like three, but I started learning how to read music once I got into high school and stuff. But have always wanted to play drums since I was three or four years old. Wow, that's a long time. It is, a very long time. Yeah, and so where, what did that journey look like for you? I mean, you're playing in high school, so then what, did, did you say, hey, I wanna, I want to do this as a career? Yeah, I did say that, but I also wanted to play baseball. So it was okay. kind of like the Charlie <laughs> Pride thing. He either wanted to be a singer or he wanted to be a baseball player. Okay. And, stuff. and um, one day it just turned for me and I wanted to play drums more than I wanted to play baseball. Okay. So. And what, what happened after that? Um, I started joining some bands once I got out of high school. Um, had many awards in high school, played in the McDonald band. Okay. Um, in high school, uh, on the road, and uh, once I graduated, I just decided I'm going to go f forth with this and just do it as much as I can. So, yeah. had a retail job in the daytime, and um, just decided to start joining some bands and doing it from there. Okay. So yeah. you were you're kind of. You're kind of doing it part time for a while. Yes. It sounds like. And so, what? At what point did you get to? Hey, I'm being a drummer full time. Um, it was really weird. Once I moved to Branson, and I had a business here when I first moved to Branson. And somebody asked me to sit in and play drums. Sat in and played drums for them, and they were like, "Well, you should audition for some of the shows, man. You're a good player." And I was like, "Maybe I'll do that," you know. And 
So I kept contemplating it and I thought, maybe I'm not ready for this in Branson or whatever and stuff. And then a good friend of mine worked for Tony Orlando and she said, I want, I want you to meet Tony. And so uh, Tony met us at Starving Marvin's one night and uh, he sat down with me and he said, hey, my friends say you're a drummer. And I said, yeah, I play drums. And he said, well, are you a good drummer? <laughs> and I said, yeah, I'm a good drummer. And so he grabbed my hand and he said, well, you should be playing drums. So it was like a godsend, really. The mm. next, next weekend, I went home and got my drums. So let's talk about you moving to Branson. Sure. You said you started a business. So wh when was that and what actually brought you to Branson? That was in 93. And uh, I pretty much saw the 60 Minutes episode that everybody yes. else saw had a business partner from St. Louis and we had done work on the road and he had decided that he wanted to take a chance and do some stuff in Branson, Missouri. And so I said, well, you know, maybe it's time for me to make a move too. So came down here and I looked at the place and my mom always said that you should move to a place where you can see the screen doors propped open and mm. fresh air. And she goes, that, that means the place is safe. And I saw that downtown when I first moved here, and I was just amazed. And I said, this must be the place. Wow. So I moved like three weeks later. Wow. Moved here, took a chance, and um, opened the business. The business did real well, and then sat in for somebody like a year later at the Branson Mall. And um, that's kind of how it all evolved. Yeah. So yeah. You, ca you came really in what we would call the big boom. It was, yeah. you, were, you were one of those after 60 minutes people. Exactly. And we always would define people, were you here before 60 minutes or yeah. were you here after 60 sure. minutes? Yeah. And, and in fact, on our last episodes, we, we were talking about that where Mel Tillis had said, like he had made at that point, I think like $6 million in six months and he called it the little richest town in America. Yeah. And people literally just got in their cars and moved here, not knowing anything, whether we even had True. a place to live or not. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we had a spot um, that was open in the Branson Mall and put the business in. And uh, we lived at Good Shepherd Inn yeah. for a while. We lived at Fall Creek. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so uh, it just kind of started from there. And I would walk to work every day because the traffic was so bad on 76, it was just, you would sit in it for hours. <laughs> it was horrible. Yes, and then that's when we built other roads and we had the different routes now. Yes. And so it's a lot better now, but yes. um, everybody wanted to come and see what was going on. Yeah. So your first professional gig mm -hmm. was, tell us who that was again here in town. Uh, 50s at the Hop. 50s at the Hop. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. so what? how long were you there and what happened after that? I was there six years. Okay. Um, and then I moved on to um, not playing in the shows for about two months, and then everybody started calling me to sub for them. So a lot of the shows were doing uh, seven days a week, and so they needed a drummer that would, mm -hmm. so their drummer would have a day off. Right. Uh, and I would do that seventh day. So it was country tonight and lost in the fifties. Okay. So, I so was those those at that time, and correct me if I'm wrong, were both owned by the same gentleman, right? Um, Ron Ron Lair. I think so. Yeah. 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 And the, the, both great shows. Yeah. W wonderful shows. Yeah. yeah. And so were you at Country Tonight when Clay Cooper was there as well, and mm -hmm. RP and yeah. all those guys, yeah. and so. Yeah, there was a music store actually in the Branson Mall where I worked at, and so I had met Clay a long time ago because he would come in and pick up the bass and just play it in, uh, there was a music store called Greywood Music mm. there in the, in the mall. So yeah. you saw a lot of celebrities and stuff from Branson yeah. that would come into the mall and stuff. So as you're doing, as you're doing this and now you're starting to fill in for people, yeah. um, how did it, did you just do that for a while or did all of a sudden you're like, you land another spot where you're just, okay, I'm here at a long place for a long time. Yeah, I started um, just putting some feelers out there and uh, everybody kind of started knowing about my playing ability and stuff. Uh, so for um, Buck Trent, for Robbie, for um, like two or three different years. Um, and um, from there, I just started picking up shows. Yeah, and I have this list here. Yeah. And this list is really long of a lot of different show, yeah. a lot of different bands that you have been in. But what sure. that tells me is when I see all this is that 
people know what you're what you're capable of doing. Yeah. And so you've been at now you're at the Hay Goods now. Yes. And how long have you been there? Twenty years. Twenty years. But it feels like thirty. <laughs> Tim, what are you doing? Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. But like, you're the only person that is not part of the family. This is true. Yeah. In the show now, you're also in some other shows as well. Yes, I do. Uh, number one hits of the '60s, and the owner of that show, Amber Campbell, she was in the original '50s at the Hop show mm. years ago when I first joined. Yeah. And how That's many years true. have you been there? Uh, Ten years now. Ten years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then there's another show you're a part of. Yeah, as well. Just started doing the uh, Jay Osmond show. Yeah, and so, so Jay's got a new show. Uh -huh. Jay was on one of our episodes towards the end of last year, but he is doing one day a week at the Americana, right? Yes. And so you are there as well. Okay, here's the deal. We're gonna stop right here. We'll come right back, and we'll talk more about these shows here in just a second. Hang tight. <laughs> so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782. iBranson.com. Going to Branson for some relaxation and fun? You've got to stay with Branson's award-winning hotel family, Meyer Hotels. Meyer Hotels features four hotels in Branson with the best locations for your trip. Choose from brands you know and trust, like the Holiday Inn Express on Green Mountain Drive, the Best Western Centerpoint Inn, Comfort Inn at Thousand Hills, and the Comfort Inn and Suites. Enjoy refreshing indoor pools and hot tubs. Do you like free? How about a free hot breakfast each morning? Free vacation planning services, and of course, smiles are always free. Want even more value? Go to MeyerHospitality.com and join our e-club to save 15% off your next stay and check out incredible deals with our vacation packages. Call 1-877-FUNSTAY to book Branson's award-winning hotels or visit MeyerHospitality.com. It's your safe choice for award-winning lodging in Branson. MeyerHospitality.com. Hey folks, welcome back to the show. We are here with Dino Phillips and he is, I think we've determined he's our first drummer we've had on the show this year. And you have been drumming, you said for 20 years. With the at, Hay Goods. With the Hay Goods. Yep. And so maybe somebody's never seen the Hay Goods, they don't know anything about them. Tell people, what what, what are the Hay Goods? Well, it's kind of like a circus, basically. <laughs> you just never know what you're gonna get once you walk into the show. And I hear that from, People that come to the show all the time, it's like, we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into, but we had such a great time, and they just really liked the talent yeah. that the Hey Goods put out there. And so we have, a, we have a family of entertainers. Sure. And so you get to see them from a different perspective. Oh, yeah. I get to see them from the booth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so the booth is the, where the drum sits. Yeah. And you're kind of like in a hole. You're kind of like down a little lower. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. So, do you are you able to see the reaction of the people in the crowd? Yeah, sometimes, depending on the lighting that's going on and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's always interesting to see people's reaction to things like the drones and um, yeah. the so, robot. And so the Hay Goods are known for doing lots of different things that really nobody else does. Right. So tell tell people a little bit about that. Um, Michael Haygood, between him and Tim, they come up with all these ideas on how to just shock people, basically, in a good way. Um, <laughs> Michael yeah. just, um, he's excellent at building props and with lighting and production wise, he's just, he's just amazing at what he does. Um, we have drones in the show now, uh, which that would probably be the first thing out of their mouths. And, and well, uh, I think they said too that it was one of the first indoor drone kind of shows yeah. in the country that they're aware of. Yeah, so. we worked on that for at least a year and a half mm -hmm. before we brought it out last year, and, and it was small last year. And then, you know, Tim's like, "No, that's not enough drones. We got to get 
15 more out there. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you also have people, well, you have people flying through the air. Yeah. Um, in some cases, upside down. Yeah. Now, you have this, you have this robot. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know, explain this to people. You probably can do it. Michael motion. built, uh, and I've seen many versions of this robot, but he built this robot and it has LEDs in it. And so the mouth moves and it's got all kinds of lights and the arms move on it. And uh, it's just incredible to see. Now, is he inside it though? Yes. And so it's flying in the air. Yeah. So like, like that's some crazy stuff. Yes. Um, Cause you don't see people very often flying. <laughs> yeah. And I don't like, I don't know. Where they're uh, avid flyers too. They love to fly. Huh? They they all love to fly. That's that's one of their hobbies. Oh, like like in the air, like yeah. like yeah. Um, yeah, out yeah. outside the theater. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this show is high energy. Mm -hmm. They they not only do they sing, not only do they dance, but they can play tons of different instruments. Many instruments. Yeah. yeah. And so what? Because you're not part of the family, mm -hmm. but you're on the show. Mm -hmm. That gives you an what, what, do you have any secrets you could tell us? Like anything that you could, I don't know. And I'm just putting you on the spot. Anything you could reveal that like nobody knows except you? Hmm. Just about them in general? Yeah, yeah. Or about the show or whatever. I don't know. I, I, I just ask off the cuff questions that you're not prepared for. Well, they're a good, they're a good Christian family. There you go. Um, just good people. Um, they come from great parents. Um, their mom, Maria Haygood, she's just the best mom ever, as far yes. as I'm concerned. We love Mama Haygood. In we fact, she Mama was Haygood. on the show a long, a while back here on Play Branson. We actually had her on the show. She yeah. came. And so, yeah, she does a great job supporting sure. the show. Yeah. So I mean, She's always behind the scenes doing something. So, total, how many years have you played drums? Um, well, I've just turned 57, so I've been playing since I was three. 54 years. 54 years. Folks, this is another reason why <laughs> we have some of the best family entertainment in the country because we have people that have been doing it for so long. Yeah. Um, and I mean, that's, that's just amazing. It's a blessing. Um, that's the way I look at it. Yeah. Because not, not every, I mean, there's a lot of people that like to play musical instruments, but yeah. they can't make a career out of it. Right. You know. Um, okay. You're in, let's talk about another show that you're in. Sure. The number one hits. Of the 60s. Of the 60s. Mm -hmm. And so tell us a little bit about that show. Um, it starts with one song from 59, and then it starts into the 60s, and it goes through the 60s into the 70s. We do a little bit of 70s as well on the show. Um, very high energy show, lots of dance and lots of different medleys of songs. Um, so you have to know a lot of songs. Lots of songs, yeah. There's like a hundred and, I think there's 113 songs that we go through. That's, yeah. and do those all, do they all take like different drum styles and sure. all that? I mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't play drums, so I don't know, yeah. but I mean, that's a lot to memory. It to, is. To, to remember. It is, and that's the blessing is I can remember all that stuff. And, yeah. You know. And so you just picked up a new show with the Jay Osmond show yeah. as well. So tell people about that one. Yeah, you called me, um, about a month and a half ago and said, I'm doing one show on Saturdays and I need a drummer and I want it to be you. And I said, well, it's right between my 60s show and the Hey Good show, so why not? And it's right down the street, so. At the so you're doing three shows that day? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Wow. One right that was, that was good timing then. <laughs> it is good timing. Wow. Um, and so what is, what is that show like? Um, it's, a, it, it's weird that you say that because I really had never seen the whole show until I did the first show because he never walked through all of the, um, the dialogue that he does in the show. And uh, it's really good because he tells the story of the Osmond brothers and how they got started. And, um, and how, in the second half, he talks about how all of a sudden it just came to a halt mm. um, when they had money issues. Yeah, they, had, they had bad management, I think, bad was management, part of it. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so it's like a tearjerker in the second half, but 
he's a really nice guy. The, yeah. the whole group has just been really great to me. So. And, and once again, what I would call a legendary performer. Yeah. I mean, he's the history of the Osmonds is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, we are we of course have had lots of Osmonds here in Branson for a long time. A long time. And then some of them have a left, and now it's yeah. Jay's been here. I think he came back last fall. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's great to have him. And he was on the show as well a while back. Um, so what, would, what advice would you give to somebody that's just now uh, thinking about drumming? What, would you, what, would, what kind of advice would you give to them as a seasoned performer? Well, I think the, the great thing about um, if you're going to move to Branson or any town and do music, um, the great thing is you have the internet now. And so even if you just want to start learning how to play drums, you could just go to YouTube mm -hmm. and just put in a certain pattern you want to play. And it's like probably 500 <laughs> people trying to show you how to play that pattern. Okay. You know? So get online and learn that way. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, let's talk about Hey Goods. What days do they perform? Do you know that? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, the Hey Goods perform on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 7.30. Okay. But the parking lot is usually full, so I would get there early Yes, for tickets. Yes, it is, it, they normally do sell out quite yes. often. Yes, um, And then number one hits of the 60s? Number one hits of the 60s is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at two o'clock Okay, at the Clay Cooper Theater as well. And then we have Jay Osmond is at the Americana Theater at on- At five o'clock on Saturdays. There we go. So folks, Go catch Dino at one of these shows here in town. Um, he's been with, we talked about the Hey Goods 20 years, the number one hits of the 60s, 10 years, and now you're brand new at the Jay Osmond Theater. And so let me ask you this question. Do you go out on the, at the Hey Goods show, do you go out after? Uh, yes. And where people can meet you? And uh, yeah, I love to do that in okay. all my shows I do that. Except okay. Jay Osmond, just because I don't have time to get. Yeah. Back to the Hey Goods. Okay, but, so folks, yeah. go get your picture taken with Dino yeah. after the Hey Goods show. Tell him you saw him on Play Branson, okay? Do that for me. Um, we'll be back in just a second to wrap the show up. Hey folks, welcome back to the show. We are wrapping it up today. We've been talking to Dino Phillips. He is over at the Hey Good Show Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. That's located over at the Clay Cooper Theater on West Highway 76. Now here's the deal. You can also catch him at number one hits of the 60s or at the Jay Osmond Show as well. Now, if you need help planning your entire Branson vacation, be sure to go to ibranson.com or you can call those people at 1-877-ENTERTAIN. You can get all the latest show attraction lodging options on ibranson.com. Now there's still time to get here before the summer season ends, okay? So come on, if you're at home and you haven't been to Branson, come on, we wanna see you here. Hey, one of the things that you could do to really help us out would be to go to our social media pages and like us, follow us. Um, I wanna give a quick shout out to a guy in Tulsa that I met recently. Actually, I was at the Lionel Richie concert. He comes up to me and he said he's been watching for Play Branson for two years and it helps him stay in touch with Branson. So we appreciate that. Thanks for watching. So if you can go to our YouTube channel, it's at Play Branson. You can also go to playbranson.com or we are also on Facebook as well. That's it for today. Go see some live music this week.